Let's answer the big question. What is the best online business for me? How to build an online business in 2015. Everyone wants to build a business. Everyone wants to start making money, but everyone is putting the cart before the horse, trying to do things that don't make any sense before doing the things that make sense. And if it makes sense, it's going to make money. Let's answer the big question. What is the best online business for me? I got an, I answer, got an answer, answer for you. For you. It, depends. it depends. I know, I know you don't, you don't like, that, like answer, that answer, but that's the truth. Many people are trying to follow the follower to follow the follower to follow the follower. It's a problem. It's really, really a problem. How can I break this down for you? I'll do it like this. You have a special set of skills, something you can do better than anyone else. And that's usually going to be your pathway to long term prosperity. But this is what happens. You see Bill or Bradley or Shaniqua or Jamal or Lester or Leroy, and they're doing something and it looks sexy and exciting. And you like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want a piece of that. I want a piece of that. And you completely forget to follow and blaze your own path. And I know it's hard and I know it's terrible. But the video I put up the other day, like how I almost died, I still kept following the right path for me. The path that's for me may not be for you. You have to do the hard work of discovering what is your special shit. I'm going to give you two things here. Two. I like the finger. I have short stubby fingers. They're chubby man fingers, but I like them. Two. Two things. First thing you have to come up with is a concept. And the concept compared to the next thing is about like that much of it. And the next thing is like this much of it. So concept is this. Because I know you heard the concept, the idea, all of that stuff is no. Uber, which is a $40 billion company. Yes, I know they have issues. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to use them. It's a $40 billion company with 1,000 employees. Delta, on the other hand, is a $38 billion company with 80,000 employees. Now, the difference is for Uber, is they didn't invent anything new. They just improved what already existed. So concept wise, hey, how do you get people who don't have a car from point A to point B? The delivery service or the library delivery, however you pronounce it, that's been around for eons. But how do you do it where it's a great customer experience? And when I was doing my research for Uber, I heard time and time again before Uber, I didn't take cabs. I heard this from several people in the back seat. So Uber improved the situation to the point that it pulled people who hated taking cabs off the road, literally. All right, now let's get to the most important part because like I said, concept, it's like this, right? It's just, it might even be that small. Maybe that, yeah, maybe that small. The next thing, which is this big, is, is past the screen. Execution. Your concept is this, but your execution should be this. That's the secret sauce. That's the thing that makes the world go round. That's what makes Everybody happy is execution. That's your secret soft. If you can execute better than anyone else who's doing what you're doing, you're going to win. You're going to win. I'll take myself when I was talking about resale. I dominated that niche because no one executed like it. There was no one putting up five videos a day. There was no one with all of these crazy ass storage auction stories. There was nobody doing it. So I just went in, saw that the marketplace was like, there was nobody there. And there are literally thousands and maybe tens of thousands of people in the resale niche on YouTube now, whether they're viewers or participants in the resale action. But when 2009, 38 people, I made tons of mistakes. I lost 
tons of money. All kinds of stupid stuff, but I still dominated in spite of my mistakes because I was putting some stank on it. So concept execution. Now for you math people, your concept should be proportionally much smaller than your execution. So if your execution is 10%, your concept should be 0, 0 point something percent. If your concept is 10%, your execution should be like 380%. As long as your execution is bigger than your concept, you're going to win. There are people out there, brilliant concepts. Oh man, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Oh man, my mama love it. My Aunt Josie, Uncle Bob, everybody loves it. But you can't make a damn penny off of it because you don't know how to execute. You don't know how to go out and say, hey, Mr. Customer. Hi, my name is so-and-so of such and such company, and I want your money. And why I want your money is because our product is better than anything else, and give me five minutes of your time, and I'll show you. You don't want to do that. You just want to, you know, we just get word of mouth. You know, we don't really have to sell our services. Bullshit. Apple sales, IBM sales, uh, John Deere sales, Porsche sales, Mercedes-Benz, everybody markets. You get into that billion dollar range, you're not going to get there word of mouth. <laughs> you're going to get there on a slick marketing campaign that might be so imperceptible that you might think it's word of mouth. Kind of like what the Koch brothers did with the Tea Party movement. Oh, but we're not going to talk about that. That's the power of marketing. Skilled marketing is a mofo. All right, I'm going to look down for a second because I've come up with nine concepts to making money online. There are many more subcategory niches, all this other stuff, but I'm just gonna give you the main nine. This is how you make money online. Ads money, AdSense, banners, common, well-proven way to make money. Sell a service, sell products, sponsorships, building apps, affiliate marketing, being helpful, there are people who made a great deal of money by just simply being helpful. Becoming an authority. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to do that. Creating a website. Now, those are nine very broad ways and there's overlap and there's twisting and there's a lot of, oh baby, yeah, website and apps, ooh baby. There's a lot of commingling of those ideals. But those are the nine things that you can do to make money online. Now, they're all pretty simple. You've got apps on your phone. You look at websites every day. What's remarkable from website A, which is killing it from website B, that's not. Execution. 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 So it's really not your business concept. It's your execution. It's how you hustle. That's it. That's it. And that's why I named my, you know, this channel and my group and the things I do, the Hustler's Mindset Project. Because once you change all this, and yeah, I've got the old, this is the first cap. I made my first YouTube video wearing this cap, which you didn't see because it was horrible. But I wore it anyway, and it still counts. But execution. 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 And, you know, so many people are like, how do I make money online? Really what it's saying is, you know, translation, because I speak bullshit. How do I make money online without really working that hard? That's the question. That's the real question. And the answer is, I don't know. Don't have an answer for you. Unless you marry somebody that makes a lot of money online, and then that could work. Possibly. Okay, you've got to focus like a laser because many of you are like the sun all brilliant and you're shining like diamonds and you're just doing all that and you're all over the place when i started this channel i had a laser focus on one thing storage auctions storage auctions storage auction stories how to sell stuff how to st focus really really focused and that's why it did well as i got some muscles and 
head and shoulders on my theme, on my concept, I start to add more stuff and I could play around with it. But in the beginning, you have to focus like no one else. That's, that's it. You One thing. That's it. That's all you can do. You can't do two. You can't do three. You can't do four. No. One. You have to do one thing. And that's it. Once you've got that one thing where it's working and it's it's like a, your air conditioning. Yes. Like your air conditioning. You don't really think about your air conditioning unless it breaks and it doesn't work. But any other time, you press the, the button or you turn the knob or you hit your app on your phone and it does what it does. When you get your bit, one concept where it's doing that, where you don't have to pay any attention to it unless it breaks, then you can go to thing two and then you can go to thing three and then you can go to thing four. And yeah, but in the beginning, one thing. Oh, you're back. Once you get your one thing down, and once you got your concept, you've you picked out what thing you're going to do online, you've got your focus down. The next thing you have to do is get money as fast as possible from that one thing. I'm talking about that day. The minute that you put it all together and connect all the dots, you got to get some money. I don't care if it's five dollars for the first month. Don't care. That's a win. You have to build on the process. There are many companies, venture back companies, such as Uber or even Google, they didn't make a lot of money in the beginning, but they had money to support them because they knew the concept would make money. If you're running a lifestyle business, such as me, or if you're running a service business, or you're selling a product, you don't have all that time to wait. So you just have to start making those De Niro, making those shillings, making those francs, euros, whatever you have as quick as possible. So once you've got everything hammered down, then you like, okay, I give myself 24 hours to make money. You gotta be like that with yourself. You focus you're on it. Make money. Do not be afraid of customers. Yes, some of them are a little crabby, but overwhelming majority of them are really damn nice. Go get that money. And that's what you have to do. And that's how you start a business online. Now, I know many of you are looking for a template. Many of you are looking for how do I make money online? The answer is, what is the easy way for me to make money online? What is the way for me to build something where I can set it, forget it, and go lay on the beach? I don't know. And the thing is, if I did know, and if I were going to tell you, do you know how much money I would charge you for such a thing? It would be damn near priceless. You couldn't afford it if I even knew. Why would I give you the keys to perpetual wealth and income for like, you know, $9.99? I wouldn't do that. No. It'd probably be like two, three, four, five million, which <laughs> puts it and prices it out of the reach of most people on the planet. So stop looking for magic jelly beans, stop looking for shortcuts, roll up your sleeves, pick something, and go to work as hard as you can. I will make no promises to you. You're probably going to fail the first few times. It's probably in the guards. That's just how it is. But if each time you fail, you'll learn something. Then you take what you've learned and apply it to the next thing and then you'll learn something else and you'll learn something else and you'll learn something else. Then one day, You'll do the damn thing and they're like, oh shit, this worked. What? Wait a minute. Let me look. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's working. Yeah, it's really working. Damn, it's still going. And then you have your online business. So that's how you build an online business in 2015. All right, if you like this stuff, and you should because I think it's good. I, I don't care what you think. You've got a few options here. Now, we should be at the end of the video. What I'm going to do is give you what helped me. Earl Nightingale, Lead to Phil. I got the cassette tapes when, you know, people listen to cassette tapes back in 1999. Changed my life. I've seen many people listen, but I've learned some stuff. I can hack Earl and help you even in more ways than you know. So I'm going to do a webinar on Earl Nightingale and the principles and everything. So you can join, come on in, and learn like I did 
except I went through, I must have listened to that probably a hundred times because after I wore out my cassette tapes, I went ahead and got the CDs and I've listened to them I don't know how many times. Some of this stuff I can repeat verbatim because I've listened to it so many times. So I'm gonna put together that and for those of you who want something different, something, because it, it's funny, People don't seem to like the group thing unless it's free. If it's free, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, if I'm paying, I want it. I want it to be on me and you, man. I, I just want. Mm, yeah, you. So I got something for you. It's called Project Quest, and link could be here. Go ahead and check it out. And what it is is one on one. It's something new that I'm doing. It's in the beta stage. That's why it's economical. So you can uh, check out Earl Nightingale. Of course, uh, link will be here somewhere, or you can get with Project Quest. Link will be here somewhere. The thing is, now Project Quest is three to four meetings where I'm going to give you a personal evaluation. Then I'm going to source out your strengths for you to make money doing your thing. So that's what Project Quest is, and it's pretty interesting. Some of the responses and some of the people have already talked to. It's pretty interesting. So that's what you, that's what I'm giving you. And oh yeah, there, there's a lot. Be sure to get your free five books if you want them. Under every video, there's a link. Just bam. You can get this one, this one, this one, this one. Choose, pick, choose, pick and refuse whatever you like. So do that and we'll be good. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session.